Good evening, friends. Welcome to my channel. Today, start Salesforce developers since I have basic interview questions. So, very important video. Start the questions. How would you integrate Salesforce with a third party middleware like Mulsoft or Dale Bumi for large scale data synchronizations? Expected logic middleware the handle batch data. Synchronizations between Salesforce and other systems use bulk API for handling large data for efficiently. Solutions using the bulk API for data synchron enables bulk API for the data insertions. Database, DML options, list, account, new list, database, uh, database insert accounts. Common mistake not using the bulk API for large data lo loads. Using the standard DML can hit governor limits. Not setting the optional all name properly can case complete failure instead of particle insert. Not implementing proper logging to track fail records. Next questions How would you? Consume a SOAP web service from an external system in Salesforce. Expected logic generate an Apex class from the WSDL files called the web service using the generated class solution SOAP API call in Apex. Generated Apex class using the WSDL Apex called the SOAP service. Public class SOAP integrations. Common mistake, not setting the correct SOAP end point, casing the authentications, failures, ignoring the governor limits on the callouts, SOAP calls count towards limit, not handling the timeout, leading for failure on show networks. Next question, how would you text Apex callout the, without the calling and actual external API? Expected answer, use HTTP callout mock to mock API response use text start text and text stop text in text classes solution mocking the API response in Apex text class common mistake not using the text dot set mock text uh, text will call real API insert forgetting the text dot start text and text dot stop text governors limit may be ex expected not handling different the http response sensorio errors timeout next questions how would you invoke an aws lambda functions from the salesforce expected answer use name, uh, name credentials for authorizations Use Apex HTTP callout to trigger lam lambda functions solution triggers AWS lambda from Apex. Common mistake not handling AWS lambda would start first request may take loggers using the hard code API key always use name credentials not handling networks failures always add return logic next questions how would you insert update and delete large volumes of data using the bulk api expected answer use bulk api 2.0 for large data operations submit batch request asynchronously solutions bulk api insert request using the apex Common mistake using the REST API insert of bulk API case gonna limit to the hit quickly. Not handling the batch failures allows uh, check fail, uh, fail request in the job status. Not using the parallel processing show the large import. Next questions. How can you do securely authenticate API callout from the Salesforce? Expected answer, use name and 
credentials instead of the hard coding API key store the authentications details securely solution by API offset request using Apex. Common mistake hard coding the uh, API key security risks not updating the name traditional screen token the expire using the basic the authentications insert of the out. Thank you, friends. This video is very important. In Pongonizan, I have asked this question. So, this question is asked in company. So, since our basic questions are asked in every time, we have asked this question in Salesforce developer job profile. So, if you are preparing for the interview, you can ask this question in the interview. Because you can get benefits from this. If you have asked this question, you can ask this question. पूछ लिया तो आपका बेनिफिट होगा क्योंकि इंटरव्यू में आ, अगर आपको एग्जांपल के थ्रू सेंसर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आपको कम से कम पांच दस क्वेश्चन पूछे जा सकते हैं तो इसमें से अगर एक दो भी क्वेश्चन आ गए तो आपका बेनिफिट हो सकता है तो वीडियो देखना मत भूलिएगा तो थैंक यू सो मच बाय फ्रेंड्स